video guys today we're going to talk about sustainability and you're probably sitting in your chair thinking oh no another boring movie about sustainability as if you haven't heard enough about that but yes my friends this is another movie but in this movie we would like to educate you guys and learn you the importance of the subject because you you and you all of you you are the future and you're the one to decide which world you your children and your grandchildren will be living in so how do we become a sustainable consumer? Let's start with our lifestyles. This is how we live our lives today. in this direction. again and thinking, well, why should I when no one else does it? Well, I'll tell you why. Did you know that if everyone had the same consumption as an average Danish citizen, we would need 2.4 globes, but as you know, we only have one. So how many does really care about the environment and the CO2 emissions? We look at the statistics. And it shows that 33% didn't care if the traveling companies had CO2 regulations. And 22% answered, we don't know. We don't know? Well, I'll let you know. So 22% didn't know if they wanted to take an environmental responsibility. But how transparent is the sustainability itself? The statistics shows that the majority of the consumers finds it difficult to recognize sustainable products. So to make a conclusion, the knowledge meant that the environment is too small. Also, the companies makes it pretty hard for you guys, the consumers, to know if you're buying sustainable products, whether it's clothing, food, or something else. So, the companies need to be more informative, to make it easier for people like us to recognize these products. But this, of course, requires the right price. We want to reach out to the younger audience. But how do we do this when the statistic shows that 71% thinks these products are too expensive? This was why we made this video. We want to inform you, educate you and tempt you to pay a little more, but contribute to a longer lasting world. You still find this very confusing? Well, let me be more visual. Here's Louise. She's a student and lives in Copenhagen. When she shops, she always shops after great offers. And as she always says, the cheaper, the better. She bikes everywhere because it's the most convenient way to get around. She buys her clothing where she wants, when she wants it, and not because she's in need of it. When she shops for groceries, she takes the cheapest milk in the fridge. But Louise, did you know if you buy this ecological milk, the average price will only be 3 Danish kroner more than a normal milk. Also, in the ecological milk you get more omega-3 and less omega-6. The balance between these two fatty acids is 2.5 times better than in a normal milk. In addition to this, you help the environment and participate in a sustainable world. And here's a fun fact. 
Did you know, by taking the bike and not the car, you save 25% of your daily CO2 emission? And you can be proud of yourself, Louisa. And Louisa, when you shop in H&M, did you know that they have a line called Conscience? Which is sustainable. And that H&M are the number one user of organic cotton. Here you have two turtlenecks. One is from the Conscience line, and the other one is not. Can you tell the difference? I can tell the difference, and that is surprise. So, which one do you think is the cheapest? Surprisingly, you're wrong. The sustainable blouse is 20 kroner cheaper than the other one. Isn't that amazing? So, Louise, could you maybe consider a more sustainable lifestyle? Great. How many of you guys would consider a more sustainable lifestyle than you did before? Let me see your hands raising your so. Okay, good. So, thank you for listening. I hope you learned how little it takes to change your lifestyle and how much you get out of it. Have a wonderful day. See you!